the requirement that today I'm going to talk about that how to write transform script to import the CMDB data into the child table. For example, I have 10 records with the different CMDB classes, but in my transform map, my target table is the CMDB CI, the parent table. Now I want to write a script where all the records inserted into the respective class table. So basically what the example that they are trying to say that, like say that you have a, a Excel sheet, using the Excel sheet, you are trying to load the data. So when you load the data, the data should be go to the respective class. Like if you are loading the data with the Linux server, it should go to the Linux server. If it is Windows server, it should go to the Windows server. So I have also created a some sample Excel, uh, Excel, you can see the header, I say the name and then I say the class and then the name is the test Linux and then test Windows based on these classes. I, it should create the record onto the Linux server and it should create to the Windows server. But my target table of the transform map should be on to that uh, CMDBCI table. So let's implement that into the ServiceNow instance. So let me save this record and then I'll go to that uh, ServiceNow instance and implement that. So first I'll go to the ServiceNow instance in left navigation. I'll go to the load data. Under this load data, I'll select here. Now here under this load data, you can see two option is there create table exist uh, existing table. So if you are loading the first time you can create a new import set table or else if you are using the existing table then you can select the existing table and then here you have options to select that table name the existing import set table. So our case I am going to select the new uh, table and here I am going to put the table name called CI import something like that. So once I am creating this label you can see by default they are populating that name u underscore ci basically it's creating a staging table which will be going to be extend to the import set table now here i need to select that excel file that i am going to import so let me do that so i just selected my excel file here the sheet number will be one header will be one i'm not going to change anything i'll click submit once i click that submit it will create a import set table uh, based on my uh, record and you can see two record got created and this record are created under import set now I have to create the transform map I'll click create transform map now once I click the create transform map it is going to um, you can see by default the source table is populated and then right side target table I have to select so there is the only option that I can select the target table and you can you know that the Windows server uh, then we have that Linux server, they all are child table of the CMDBCI. So what I'm going to do that, I'm going to select the parent table, which is nothing but the CMDBCI table. So I'm going to select this configuration item table and then here I'm putting the name called CI import. Now after that, I'll just have to save that. So it means that the data, whatever is coming to the source table, that data will be directly transferred to the target table, which is nothing but the target table. So whatever data, the two data that um, we have called test Linux, test Windows, these two data will be directly transferred to the CMDB CI table. But we don't need to create the data onto the CMDB CI table. Basically, we want to create the data on the child table, right? So how we can do that? So that is the ask they have they have asked. So whenever the transform map will be run, it should directly go to the C, not into the CMDB CI table, it should go to the child table. So let's do that. So I'll click the mapping assist right now so that um, which field I should map with whom. Now left side all the uh, import set table name and right side all the actually CMDB CI table name. So let's find out the name field. So I'm going to select the name field here and then left side I am going to select the name field. So under this Excel name, I'm going to map with the CMDBC. That's it. I'm not going to map anything. But here is the limitation. So if I run that, what will be happen? All these data at that moment, whichever is present, Linux um, and Windows, these two data will be directly created to the CMDBC table. It won't be created to the child table. To create the child table, what we have to do? So if I go back to the CMDB underscore CI table, parent table, and if I open this record, you can see we have a class option. So this is the class and you can see the backend name is sys underscore class underscore name. And based on this class, 
basically if you select any of these it will go to this right now we are in the cmdb ci table but if i open this record it will be open to this basically cmdb oracle instance table so basically class name is nothing but the table name that it is denoting so this is the parent table cmdb ci but if i open let's say i am opening this virtual 7 so if i try to open that it will directly go to the child table which is nothing but cmdb rca uh, computer table right so what we will do here first we will i'll open this u underscore ci underscore import table because this is the stage staging table so i'll open this table and here if i open that you can see there is two report is at that moment created and if i open the first record they we have created one custom field called u class which is nothing but the class is the the table uh, the header name based on that we have created a field called u underscore class so based on this value i should decide that where i should redirect right so i'll go back to the transform map and click new so here i am going to create a custom uh, field map and where i am going to write the, um, the one code so here if you see uh, under this case what we have i have the field mapping here uh, we have the source table here i have the source field so i can select the source fields instead of that i'll select the use source script i'll check this checkbox and then under this target table i'll select the class field so sys underscore class name this field i will select the target field will be sys underscore class name now um, if you see here under the configuration table we need to be we have to be select the sys class name based on the excel sheet so based on the based on the excel i should select the linux server or windows server under this sys class name right so what i will do i will write the code so what i'll do if here source dot u underscore class so that field name is the u underscore class so if the u underscore class name equal to equal to what we are passing at that moment we are passing the window so if class name equal to windows what we should return we should return the windows server table name so the windows server table name is this one so i should return this windows server table name else if and then this time if that value is the linux then i should pass the linux table name so source dot uh, class name is the linux here then i should return the table name of the linux so i will open this linux table and then return here okay so this is the requirement or this is the things i need to be configured so i'll just submit that so under this transform map if we transform right now so i have the name to name mapping and here i have written the script so if i transform that so i'll click the transform button and then whatever is the data we have loaded earlier that data will be transformed to from uh, this is my transform map um, name so this is the import set here so if i click transform the two data that we have created will be transformed successfully and if you can see the transform is successful if we click the transform history you can see um two data got inserted now if we go back to the configuration item table and then if we refresh right now <clears throat> now you can see two data loaded called taste win and taste linux and taste win is mapped to this windows server and then taste linux is mapped to the linux server so if i open these two uh, record you can see they have redirecting to their respective table called windows server and the linux server so that's how you can complete your requirement so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day